Gainesville, Florida. This is the 30th Reverend Angel S. Tabernacle of Hedonism sermon tonight. The 30th show. Congratulations, you made it. Cheers. What do you think of that, Wesson? 30 shows. That's good, man. Swag. Swag. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we are doing a business meeting of the church. We ask that all of the uh, parishioners enjoy yourselves, get drinks, but Paige, please do not talk during the show. Just Paige. Everyone else can talk. Okay. This is not the show. This is not the church. This is just a business meeting. But unlike, oh, I don't know, unlike, um, what's, that, what's that place called with the Pope? Vatican. That's it. Unlike the Vatican, uh, we let you in on the inner workings of the church, so you all can be a part of it and understand how religious things happen. That's what we do here. So we let you in. Hey, Gene, thanks for coming. Gene, how are you enjoying the uh, the uh, service so far? It's very upsetting to me. Already? All right. Thank you. That's Gene, everybody. Give him a round of applause. Thank you, Gene. Sorry, sorry that it's upsetting, and thank you. Thank you. In the back doing our sound effects, and he'll be performing later, the one and only, the mercurial David Shelton from the Miller and Chase Show at the Lab. Give him a round of applause. He's good, isn't he? It's like being in Disney World when he's here. Okay. Remember the part about no talking? Is everybody doing that? Because I don't want to yell, shut the fuck up all night long in church. Boy. Thank you. Thank you. He's fucking psychic, this guy. That's unbelievable. Shh. You're in church. Ladies and gentlemen, the introduction of the senior clergy. Please welcome to the stage the Secret Council of Society Deacons. Jennerkey. Deacon Jennerkey is at the door there. He's on the guest list. Now. They should both be, really. But we'll take your money if you have it. We've got a guest in here. Quiet, I said, you people. You clapping people. All right, introduction of senior clergy. Okay, Jennerkey, ladies and gentlemen, Reverend Deacon Daniel Timothy Ballard is here. Please come to the stage. Daniel Timothy Ballard. Oh, well, what in the hell? What happened to Daniel? Oh, he's in the bathroom. Okay. He's on the throne. He's on, I was going to go there, but you beat me to it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the renegade deacon, James Wesson, is here, feeling oh, up the minister of the interior. James, won't you come and join me on the stage? James Wesson. I'm Tom Miller, your host and member of the Cedar Council of Society Deacons. And the Minister of the Interior, that's Michael Garvin. Michael, will you come join us on stage? The best dressed of the clergy. The best dressed of the clergy. Thank you. George, there's no talking. There's no talking during the meeting, George. Okay. This isn't this isn't Japan, George. Be polite. I think that's funny. Sorry, I had to get a little lean in alcohol. Ladies and gentlemen, our spiritual leader, the one and only the Reverend Angel Dust, if you'll please join us on the stage for the church meeting. Yeah. And now, Jen, if you'll join us on stage, this is that rare opportunity for a moment where the entire senior clergy of the church is here. Get your cameras out. This is photography time. Where's Jen? Oh, here she is. Hi, Jen. Okay, and snap those pictures now. Swag. Oh, my. Seeing as there are no pictures to be snapped, we will continue with the meeting. Item number one. Yes, um, parishioner Paige has brought with her tonight a dumpster score. Reverend Angel does. This is a matter for the highest levels of the church. She has brought a George Foreman full-sized grill from the dumpster. Oh, wow. Hallelujah. Reverend, the question is put to you by Paige. What are we going to do with this dumpster?
dumpster for our parishioners tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the Reverend Angel Dust. We're going to auction it off for publicity. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Get the wired out. Okay, will one of the deacons please pick up and display the dumpster score? Why are we on it? Well, we don't know if it works. I think it works. Uh oh, easy. That's the show. You guys cool there? That means of luxury in French. Okay. Instead of letting the police grill you, you can grill Tepe burgers. Oh. <laughs> or police meat. Right. Can you show us the front of it? Like, like, leaf down and it's heavy, isn't it? Eat the police. This is the larger version of the uh, of the grill. And you see the front, I mean, like, lean it so they can see. And it's all clean and stuff. You can clean that off. Don't hurt Jeff's face with it. It's not on. <laughs> He's good, isn't he? I like when we have sound effects. And, uh, okay, so this is the real deal. It's programmable. You can cook a couple of ribeyes, or if you're a vegetarian, a couple of, uh, uh, what are those things called that are made out of gluten? Air. Oh, Satan. Satan. You cook Satan? Satan. Why would a vegan cook Satan made out of gluten? I thought gluten free. What, what is anybody doing with this food stuff? What happened to good old meat glue? Alright. So we're auctioning this off, are we, Reverend? Alright. What should we start the bidding at? Let's leave that up to the parishioners. This is a full-size George Foreman grill scored out of the dumpster. All you have to do is disinfect it. It's good to go. Good to go. It, it, it wasn't in a dumpster. It wasn't in a dumpster? Even better. It's a pre-dumpster dumpster score. So it wasn't even in a dumpster. You don't even have to, you still have to disinfect it. But uh, it wasn't in a dumpster, so that's good news. So, all right. Who wants it? These sell for like... Anybody? Dollars. Anybody got the internet? Can I'll see give them? you nothing for it. All right, I got, I got a dollar. I, I, I got a dollar. Can you see this thing? <laughs> <laughs> you think it's beautiful or not? Just season. Nothing in a hat. Visualize uh, possibility. All right. Seek All right. What do we got? So Wesson's bidding a dollar. Is that right? Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah. Okay, because we can bid too. All right, there's one dollar. It's a full-size George Foreman grill. Here, here. Get on, get on. Do you have, do you have internet there? Go and like figure out how much these things cost. It's, it's actually called George Foreman's Lean Mean uh, Fat Reducing Grilling Machine, by the way. That's the technical term for those. It's a sauna. You can read that on there. Um, although, I'd like to point out, reducing fat is a really stupid idea. I agree with you. This is just the, the meeting. It's not the show. Please don't think this is the entertainment you paid for to get in tonight. It's not, it's not it. This is not it. Amazon is selling it for $87.98. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, shit! Oh, shit! Brand new, so it's an $80 deal. Here called bullshit. That's bullshit. That's yeah. Two. You have two people saying bullshit. Me too. Whoa. Eight people. Uh, Okay. Oh, 15 people. Oh, bullshit. Okay, well, look, look, we, look, listen, we've got a dollar up here. It's for the church, for the good of the church. A dollar is bid. That beats your zero bid, sir, in the front. And so uh, we have a dollar on the floor. Would anybody like to bid $2 for an $89 dumpster score grill? $2. The guy in the back is gesturing. Look, he's got his hand against Two? Shit! Two. We have $2. Oh, holy Hey, if you win it, give it to me, okay? All right. All right, we have to move quickly. We have a, we have a small show tonight, and I don't want it to run over time. <laughs> two? Hold on, hold on. Really? Paige wanted to give it away, so we're already $2. Okay? Two ten. We'll cut you, what? Two ten. Two ten. Two ten. I bid $3. Oh, Jen Jennerky, Jennerky's in it for All right, three. Do we hear four twenty? <laughs> Only if That's you have weed! <laughs> 420, anybody? 420. Yes! Yes? Hey, 420. Who said that? No, it's 420, the idea. No, bid, not the, the idea of it, bid the money. Oh. Michael McShane, you're, you're not the director of this show.
show anyway, but you could be. He'll be directing the, uh, the Tabernacle of Hedonism, the movie by Michael McShane, coming to a theater near you. In India, hopefully. All right, so three is the bid. We're here at 4.20. No one's gonna go to 420 for the rest. 420. All right, is, is anybody gonna? Okay, so three's the bid then. 420. Zero. Zero. Legalization amendment, which is on four. Lori's going to four. Give somebody your 20 cents so we can do this right. If we sold this for 420, that would make cosmic sense in the church. Does anybody have a dime? Uh, here, I got that. I'll I'll front Lori. 20 cents. That's all I have, actually. I have 23 cents. That's all I have. Keep the other three for the church, 20 for Lori. Can I get 23 cents to get a checkbird? 420 is the bid. I just want a checkbird. Stop having fun. This is church and this is the meeting. I just want a checkbird. 420 is the bid for Lori. It's a real grill, you know. If it doesn't work, well, uh, we, you're stuck with it. Uh, going once. Going twice, George Foreman Grill sold for 420. That's going to the record book. That's going into the anal of history. Nice work, nice work. Thank you, Paige. Thank you. Thank you, Paige. Good dumpster score. Fantastic work there. Okay, moving along. Uh, we've done that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this next item. No talking during the meeting, please. This, this next item comes to us from uh, uh, member Jared, who is, uh, where's Jared? Jared, if you'll raise your hand so everybody can see you. That's Jared in the back. Uh, we have a, um, a late comer to the process of performing, but we would like to make an exception for him based on Jared's commitment to the church. He has only ever missed one of all 30 of the shows, I believe. And uh, so therefore, um, and he's gone ahead in advance and put this agenda item on here. He would like permission for a performance space to be given to a Jacob Henry Christian. Hallelujah. Jacob Henry Christian. A, is that is that him in the front? Okay, Jacob. Welcome to the church. Thank you. Thank you for thank you for being here. Uh, and we're going to put this to the vote of the council because it's not a regular procedure, but I have uh, faith that it will all work out. So let's see what happens. Um, do we have any more information as to what you would be willing to do on stage for us today? Right now? No, when we, if, if, if we vote a permission, a uh, performance space, what would you do? Well, I invented feral pornography, and I want to, like, use... Like, Wow, there's more people here than I thought. But I'll write up a business plan and then we can uh, we can discuss it. I like it. Braille pornography works for me. It's okay. Really, it's really hot. I bet you can really get your fingers on it. Jacob Henry Christian has requested to be healed. He has. By Reverend Angel. Really? Oh, then then I don't know. Okay, we have to put it to a vote then. I vote yay. A healing and Braille pornography, you had me at Braille. I vote yay. Jennerke, yay or nay? Wow. You can, if you can see it through to the end of the show, then oh, you can okay. see if there's room. Oh, what do you mean, see it through? No, no, I'm just saying, you can just wait and see how much time there is left. Oh, this is about see. It's a concern of time. <laughs> I understand that. Okay. Uh, but we, I guess, I guess we need a yay or a nay though in order for this. I, I, your concern of time is noted. I will do my best to move the show along. Fantastic, Jordan. Or you could abstain. Hippie. Jen abstain. Jen abstains from, from this vote. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the Reverend uh, Daniel Timothy Ballard, yay or nay, that Jacob Henry Christian can be allowed to perform and be healed at the church today. You had me at the thought of course, so yay. Forks? Forks? Of Jacob. course. Jacob. Of course. By the way, it's Jacob. Course. Jacob. Course. I have Jacob. Of course. So that's a yay, that's two. Uh, this would be the uh, uh, 
Oh my God, it's the, it's the renegade uh, deacon here to break the, the tie. We have one, no wait, we're already, no, we're not unanimous. We have one abstaining, I think it still goes, okay, yeah, what's your vote, Reverend uh, Wesson? I didn't hear the proposal. The proposal, no, it's the, okay, go ahead. the proposal is a performance space in which Jacob Henry Christian will explain um, braille pornography to the church, and then he will be healed by the Reverend Angel Dust. Hey, if I may say something, I didn't request like performance space, like a place to perform. I just wanted to say something tonight and then see if I could see again. So what is your vote? I, I abstain. So we have two abstaining and two in favor. So that's a that's a tie. So we have flavor. That's not a tie. Yeah, you have to vote. Somebody's got to vote. Either you have to vote or Jen has to vote. Jen is not in All right, then I vote no. Okay, so we got two to one and one abstention. <laughs> You, you don't. You, you're welcome to. You're I'm staying. Gonna, I'm gonna change my vote. I changed my vote. I say a challenge. Change my vote. Yes. I'm gonna change my vote back to abstain. That's three yeses. One abstention. And one abstention. The motion passes. You will be able to present your braille pornography and be healed by the Reverend Angel Dust. That's how we do business here at the church. Thank you. All right. Moving along. Matters of the council. Wesson, any further comments? Wesson, any further comments from Deacon Wesson? Yes, swag, swag. Very good. Swag. Any further Were you done? No, extra swag. Can I get a large swag with the side order of extra swag and a swag to drink with the, 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 the extra swag, two swag cup? Can I get a number seven swag? Swag number seven swag for the... The gentleman over here. Uh, Amen. Barbecue swag. A swag. woman. Um, a swag. God has blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Honey mustard swag. Honey mustard. Swag with ranch. No, it's not actually. Is uh, okay. Very good. Uh, Deacon Jennerke. Open comment for Deacon Jennerke. Swag, swag. Yeah, I've been boy. really inspired by you guys bringing your art in to share with everyone. And I have some art installments for auctioning off tonight as well. Would you like to do that now or during the show later on? I don't care. Let's go to the council. Pleasure to council. Um, Let's auction one now and then and have it open to auction something else. Okay. That's my proposal. Okay. Right? Okay. Where's Bill? Okay. Yeah, Bill Barry. That's not the topic. What is that thing? Yay, yay. I'm I guess for it. Yay. Ballard? Vote? I will stay. Ballard? Yay, yay, yay. Three yays. Go. What have you got there? Um, this is this installment is called Meowabunga. That's an excellent job. Where's that come this is called Now Bunga. This is an authentic prop used at the Girls Rock Camp Showcase on Saturday, which I have uh, repurposed into this piece of art that I call Now Bunga. It's near and dear to my heart. It's my art. Um, the girls made up a song, and at the end they yell Meow Bunga because it's a surf song. So I stole it from them. I stole it from eight year olds. Yeah. No. It's like a mascot. It's like a band mascot. No talking, please. We're having a church I don't really feel like I need to explain my art to you, sir. I don't really see the other ones. Eight year olds are not actually sing a song It inspires you to sing a song, is what it does. What? It inspires you to sing a song, it's not the art. I don't mean to be a jerk, but we must have an expedient meeting. So I'll start the bidding at one shot of kombucha. Anyone? Uh, Girl 
the tabernacle of hedonism to deliver the message of a temporary armistice that on um, the war that is being declared by the tabernacle of hedonism. That's very upsetting to me. Sometime in the next few days, wander down there and see if they'll do a uh, article on the show. Very she boring. has a fantastic face. Very, very, uh, very polite, very politely. Well, it's three days, so I would go on the record with something. Three. So it's three days and one abstaining, um, which means that it is approved by the council as you see fit to be the emissary for the church representing us in the That's a uh, uh, beautiful, no, selfless offer. No, no, no promises, but uh, but sometime I'll probably want sometime in the next week I'll probably wander down there and uh, have a little chat with them. Please keep us posted. We are we are suspending the war pending further information. Okay. Thank you. Hallelujah. Gene. Hallelujah. Uh, Anybody else? Open comments for the tabernacle. Any prayers for the reverend? I wasn't playing with myself in the bathtub. I was just cleaning it, and it went off. <laughs> Very good. And ladies and gentlemen, at this time, Where's the swag? swag. At this time, we now conclude this secret council of society deacons church meeting. Oh, 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 oh did I not do Ballard? I have something to say. Point of order, Ballard, go. Please hurry. Uh, is it me, or does this show not go complete? We're missing a very, very, very important aspect of the show. There's no one up here on fucking Facebook. Oh, Bill oh, Bill. Where the fuck is Perry? Uh, if I, I would like to address that. I do not know where Bill Perry is. However, Bill Perry can come and go and participate in the show as he sees fit. It is up to him, not up to us whether he'll show up or why he's here or not I'm here. insulted and confused. Well, duly noted. Yes? Um, I, I've kind of subbed for him in the past, but would it be okay if I filled in for Bill Perry tonight? <laughs> Lead it up to the paper. Yay, but let's face it, like, yeah, it's a good idea. Well, I, I, I just tried chatting with him on Facebook about it, and he isn't on. So. Okay, well, I... Okay, if that... Does the council want to put that up to a vote? Yeah. Okay. This is Logan substituting for Bill Perry, ignoring the show on the stage and surfing on the internet during the show. Uh, I will vote nay, and I'll tell you why. I don't know that you can substitute for Bill Perry. In the same way that I don't know that Bill Perry could ever substitute for Logan Stallings, if, if that makes any sense. And in the interest of the fact that he can come as go as, as he sees fit, whether he's here or not, it's, it's, you know, it's like, should somebody sub for Wahoo when Yahoo, Wahoo isn't here? No, because he's just not here today. Maybe he'll be back next week, maybe he'll never be back. But I mean, I, 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 in other words, I don't see, I don't want to start the precedent of people subbing for regulars just because they're missing. It doesn't make sense to me. That's my vote. Logan wants to say something. Well, we're voting now, so. Well, I have, I have something to add. Yeah, yeah. Please hurry. Yes, yes. Can I just not do it and then uh, ignore the show from back here? You can do anything you want in the Tabernacle of Hebrews. Okay. So I, I would vote, call it the Tabernacle of Hebrews. I, you know, I vote yay on that. You know, honestly, I'd be down for Logan doing it if James Blesson is up for walking the stage. Wahoo is hitchhiking the other day. Someone help him. Yes. Prayers for Wahoo. We're really wavering yes. out of the control of the meeting here. This is unnecessary. <laughs> okay, we don't have to do that. I don't think we I should set a precedent for said. substituting for regulars who missed a show. It's yeah, not necessary. Okay. I agree. What if we just had Logan 
Ignore the show as Logan. What if Logan is? That's what I have to put in the old Jim Vito at the door. This is not how, how the rules of uh, Robert, Robert's Rules of Order work. There is a motion on the floor. All that is required at this point, there is no further discussion. It is yay or nay, Logan substituting. We have one vote from Wesson, which was what? Yes. Vote from? Yeah. Yes. I voted no. You're the, what are you voting? Get a vote. If you abstain, then it's two yeses, then Logan has to come up here and be Bill Perry. Well, then you, you shouldn't abstain. You should vote opposed. So that's two opposed, one swag, and one what? And yes, one yes. One yes, two opposed. What was your vote? Two yes, two opposed. How do we break the tie? No, we don't do that. Nice try. Okay, no, no, no. Is that your final vote? Yes. Three no's, one yes. The motion does not carry. Thank you for your proposal. Please pee immediately. That concludes our meeting. That concludes our meeting. Now, take five minutes, get a drink. The tabernacle of hedonism proper begins in five. We'll be back. Meeting adjourned.
much you are tonight. Thank you for being here. Lots of guests, lots of out of town guests. David Shelton on special effects, and he'll be performing tonight. Give him a round of applause. A mercurial figure from the legendary Miller and Chase variety shows. Let's see, who else is in the house tonight we have to recognize? I don't recognize anyone. I'm very excited about tonight's show, ladies and gentlemen. This is number 30. Wow. Number 30. That means we have been here since January. Thank you. 30 shows of the church, 30 sermons. And so, on this special occasion, can I have everyone's attention, please? It's not television, I'm a human being. Help me. Shut up! <laughs> God, I don't have to yell it all the time. Because this is going to be a big deal tonight. I, I have a funny feeling. You should probably have it checked. <laughs> okay. Shh. You're going to want to hear this if you don't want your car towed. Who's got an Oldsmobile something or other parked in the wing zone parking lot? Oh, what? My man. Oldsmobile. We, we're looking out for you. Huh? They don't even make those anymore. Where, did, where does he park? Where's he supposed to park, I mean? Okay, that's him. That's his car. All right. Hey, you didn't get towed, man. We just saved you eighty-nine dollars on a trip down to the wherever those people take the cars. Thank you, thank you. Looking out for you. Looking out for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. For sermon number thirty, please welcome to the stage our high leader. Thank you, our high leader. The one, the only, the Reverend Angel Dust. Full act. 
nativity in the tabernacle of Edenism. Hallelujah. Uh, tonight I would like to raise money uh, for the tabernacle of Edenism so that we can put up more posters in front of the independent Florida alligator in aspiration that they might actually one day write an article about our church. Hallelujah. This is the uh, painting. It is a Christian painting. It is spirit in the sky, above, up above. Put your faith in Jesus. Hallelujah. As you know, Jesus was the kingpin. And all of you are innocent because Jesus Christ died on the cross for your drug deals. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, do I hear 42 cents for this uh, beautiful painting? 75! 75 cents! Okay. 75 cents for this beautiful painting. Do I hear? Do I hear a dollar? 76 cents? A dollar! A dollar for the uh, painting. Uh, do I hear a dollar? 42 cents. Dollar forty-two cents in honor of legalizing medicinal ganja in Florida. Two dollars. Two dollars. Two dollars. Do I hear four dollars and twenty cents? That'd be the second item the honor. No. <laughs> I can't even see what it looks like. <laughs> it's in braille. Is it pumpy? <laughs> yes, you can you can feel the brush strokes. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, it's a Jesus painting. Alright, two dollars. Is he coming? Uh, two dollars isn't even enough for the one that's painted on. Come on! Three dollars. Three dollars! Three dollars. Forty-two cents. What is Alex three dollars and fifty cents? Three dollars and fifty cents. I'm broke, so I don't know. Man, this three dollars and fifty cents from the blind man really? by the center table. I'm blind. I've masturbated too much. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, three dollars and fifty cents. Do I hear four dollars and twenty cents? That's what it wants. Four twenty. Four dollars in honor of the uh, initiative on the upcoming ballot to legalize medicinal ganja. Make sure you vote. Please do. Four twenty. Four twenty. Hallelujah. Yes. From Jesus G. Hallelujah. Four dollars and twenty cents. Four dollars and twenty cents going once. Four dollars and twenty cents going twice. This is also uh, to raise awareness that we need wild places in uh, in the world to preserve endangered species. Hallelujah. So it's a landscape. It's a landscape. It's a prayer. And it's going for four dollars and twenty cents to Jesus G. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, remember the goddess loves you. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, and stay away from demon alcohol. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
but God has blessed the recovery community. Hallelujah. And as we know, the best way to recover from demon alcohol is medicinal drugs. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. All drugs are permissible in the tabernacle of Edenism as long as you do not abuse demon alcohol. Hallelujah. We do not need socialized medicine. We have medicinal ganja. Yes, legalized weed. Yes! All the med socialized medicine we need. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Dumpsters on every corner filled with medicinal ganja weed. Hallelujah. Socialized with medicine. And when we do airplane surveillance in the tabernacle of Edenism, we do airplane surveillance in the nude. Hallelujah. that we don't find any weed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But when they legalize medicinal marijuana, we will find lots of weed. Hallelujah. God is blessed everyone. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Goddess. Uh, all sustenance cometh from the dumpster, especially socialized dumpsters with socialized medicinal ganja. Hey, Charlie, with air conditioning. Jump in. Jump out. Jump up provides. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our mother. Who growest the greatest art in heaven? Hallelujah. Who the greatest art in heaven? On behalf of On behalf of Jacob Henry Christian. On behalf of Henry Christian. Who masturbated too much. Jesus did it! Jesus did it! 
For thine is the cow pie. For thine is the cow pie. The ring. The ring. And the shrew. And the shrew. Amen. Amen. A woman. A woman. A joy. A joy. A Jacob Henry Christian. <laughs> spending my money. In a world where Honey Boo Boo is on the Learning Channel, in a world where Discovery Channel does a complete fantasy about a shark that once existed but doesn't anymore, Liars. the Megalodon, thank you, that's absolutely right, in a world where people actually debate whether or not there are fucking mermaids swimming around in the Atlantic Ocean they and they're serious about it. Shit! There are mermaids in the Atlantic Ocean. What are you talking about? I, no, I come together with a real reverend and I start with the reverend a real church to escape from that fantasy world and get into the reality that we're trying to do here and people still don't want to pay attention, and they want to pay to not pay attention. We're all floating along the cesspool like detritus from the butt of God. You know why, Tom Miller? Because they're too poor to pay attention. What the fuck are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about talking from the right side, man? They're too poor to pay attention. Hey, you know, you know who's leading who, if you know what I'm saying. No, I don't. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. 
Well, before I get freaked out and do something I'm going to regret, it's time for some poetry. Please welcome to the stage Laquanya and friends. Give her a round of applause.
Some of you think different things. But my ass is aching. And I, I want to do this right. We're in church. I want to do it right. You know? So here's the deal. There is a man that was in this room. And just when I was getting into this part of the show, he left. That's how it goes. He'll be back. He didn't see it coming. Well, he didn't see it coming. And I didn't see him going. Interestingly enough. But... One of the things that the church has always done is miracles. <laughs> Giggly girls. Um, and uh, the miracle is that we have to help people. We entertain people. We, we exercise our freedoms to believe the things that we all want to believe. Oh my God, I'm to keep me in the cock, man. Oh no! <laughs> and so, and I think this might be the first time we've ever attempted a true in-your-face miracle in front of our parishioners. And I, I would like to do that for you. And I would like to do that for our friend who's here. What's his name? I can't remember. Jacob. 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 Can you call Jacob in and the Reverend Angel Dust? Is the Reverend Angel Dust here? Oh, oh he's Lord. back there doing another miracle. <laughs> Reverend? <laughs> could we, could we, Reverend, if you don't mind, this stuff. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. No, no worries. James Wesson is molesting you. Congratulations, that's fantastic news. I have been at the hands of James Wesson's molestations, and I can tell you that it is profoundly illuminating. You have no idea. Yes. 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 It works. I can't believe it. I, that, why, I should have learned that from my like junior high school teachers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we need to heal. 
The church is all the church is all about healing, and that's what we're going to do tonight. At this, sorry. Hallelujah. Thank you, Reverend. At this time, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome to the stage the Reverend Angel Dust performing a live miracle for the 30th anniversary show at 1982. The Reverend Angel Dust! That 
is what you entitled your performance art. <laughs> Genius. It makes sense. Look, it's logic. No. Don't fight with logic. This is the church. Gotta be good logic. <laughs> Why is there no <laughs> Thank you all for coming tonight. I have come here as a lost shepherd. Uh, <laughs> whoever the bald guy is behind there that I can see with my psychic eye pushing random buttons that seem to match up perfectly. <laughs> he is a messenger from the God. No, he is a Luciferite. Far right, man. Far right. You racist bastard. <laughs> Do I smell the stench of uh, Michael McShane in the audience? <laughs> What am I supposed to say, Reverend? Whoa, there was a gurgle. <laughs> you know, when there was a gurgle, it was a big turd. So anyway, are, am I doing my bit of the show, or am I being saved here? Because I, I don't even want to take a step, because everything's weird. Reverend, are you here? Jesus believes in turds. Hallelujah. 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 Isn't that right, Jesus G? Hallelujah. But you have submitted to the goddess. Hallelujah. You believe in the goddess. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You believe in performance art. Hallelujah. You are a new person! Because in the tabernacle of hedonism, we are not sexist. Hallelujah. I don't know, I don't know the difference yet. You have been reborn. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have been born again. In the blood of Jesus, because Jesus died for your sins. Or for your drug dealers. Well, if that's the case, then when is Jesus going to show up and wipe off the afterbirth? And let me get on with my life. By the power invested in me from the gods. Hallelujah.
Jesus moved mountains, let him move your mountain. Hallelujah. are all about. Hallelujah. So you regained my sight so I could move fucking mouths for you? Yes. And also past petitions. Oh, and past petitions. So that people, voters, registered voters, can sign them. So that registered voters can sign them. I'm being a parrot here. <laughs> and Apparently. put the initiative on the ballot to legalize medicinal weed. Hallelujah. So basically, you just picked me out to be your uh, whore by giving me cones and rods again. Yes. We are all the goddesses whores. Great. I need to go back and masturbate. Art. Hallelujah. God is blessed performance art. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. The Reverend Angel does just performed a miracle at the Tabernacle of Meekness. You saw it. Even he saw it. Yes. Masturbate.
Shane, thank you. Thank you very much. And, and music, and music, we can't afford the royalties, but thanks for Kobat. Right. <laughs> if you say it different, you don't have the royalties. We're gonna get on that stage at the Hippodrome. When I show this to Lauren Caldwell, when I show that your face is, uh, is that blood there? Yeah, it's blood. Yeah. Yeah, just keep No, no, it's DNA, it's DNA. Uh, okay. Are you uh, masturbating? Is that what you're doing? No, no. Okay. I'm struggling. Okay. <laughs> now I got your fucking attention, you assholes. Is that what it oh takes? Oh my god, yes. Is that what it takes to get people to pay attention? That's what you want to see, isn't it? Oh my god, yes. They were all talking. Gentlemen, please welcome the tag team comedy stylings of Ishmael and Pablo! But it just didn't come off, right? And I couldn't get it out of the window. So I went for the next best option, right under the seat, right? But guess what? No vacant spots. No! No! I went down with one, came back up with like four others. I was like, oh no. So here's my trick now. Here's what I do. I just, I just pick it out of this notch. <laughs> I pick it out of this nostril and put it on this one. That's a. No. Yeah, alright. No. Hey! Hi, hi. Hi, Two. My friend Pablo. That's good. So I'm, uh, I'm working on a new thing where you say something that sounds kind of racist and kind of gay at the same time. Uh, I'm gonna call it gaysism. Yeah. Yes. For a subscriber. Here's one. I think black men smell funny, but I like it. Gases. There you go, everybody. Hey, thank you. Uh, yeah. I really, I feel like black men can see right through me. Like, I wish we could, I wish I could have whatever it takes to be able to hang with the brothers, but it's not, it doesn't, like one time I was walking down my street and there was a bunch of black guys walking down the same direction and one of them shouted at me and he was like, hey man, you go to the potty? And then I turned around and I was like, what? He was like, oh no, you ain't going to the potty. And he just what? fucking knew, he could tell. He knew I wasn't going to the party. Uh, so, his, what? 
<laughs> Don't say it like that. That sounds racist when you say it. <laughs> I don't need the callbacks from the audience. That's okay. Uh, so, it is weird to come on stage and uh, you want to go on stage a lot, you know? Uh, but sometimes you have nothing to say. <laughs> And you get up on stage and you're like, I don't really need to say anything to anyone right now. What am I doing here? Uh, I'll just, this is just the inner monologue of Tom Miller every every Monday night. Uh, so, <laughs> hey man, I've been doing this new thing where I try to be gay and say something racist. Like, I'll suck guys, a uh, black guy's dick, and I'll try to like say something racist while I'm doing it. Like, oh. <laughs> There's some racist who laughed. I don't know what happened. That was weird. Hey, no worries. <laughs> hey, uh, yo, man, I want to be smart, right? But I don't want to read. So I just want to wear glasses, right? Just like those NBA players do, you know? They just wear glasses. But that's, uh, why do people think that people that wear glasses are smart? Like you, you sir, you look very smart to me. But if anything, you're dumb, man. You don't even know how to see. <laughs> I have trouble with math. Not recognizing objects. That's baby shit, man. I knew how to see right when I was born. <laughs> sold on pedophilia. Uh, just from a sustainability standpoint, if it was like legalized and it was moral all of a sudden, it, I just don't know how it would work. You can't date a kid for every relationship between a pedophile and a kid is a short-term relationship. The kid's gonna grow up and then, and then it's, it's fucked up. What's gonna happen? I just don't see commitment in a pedophile's future. That's my issue. What's that? You have at least 12 years. <laughs> oh, that's, that's if you start at zero. <laughs> you can't date a fetus. It's fucking okay. Um, or you can start at 12, I guess. So there's a I, okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Everyone is sleeping. Okay. I've been watching the news. You watch the news? Were you relatable? Okay. Watch the news. I'm <laughs> hobbled back up here. You know, <laughs> watch the news. I noticed this trend, like with international reports. They have like a lady in like a Sao Paulo or something like that, some Brazilian slum, and she's walking towards the camera, telling the you know the report that the, the people of Sao Paulo have been suffering for the past 37. And in the background, there are all these like 10 year olds jumping around, trying to get in the shot, ruining the report, like. It fucking, like, it, it, it makes me angry, you know? Like, what the fuck do they, what do they want to do in her report? It's, it's bullshit. Like, she's saying some, the thing is, she's saying some story that's depressing, you know, about poverty and AIDS. And these kids are telling a totally different story. They're doing somersaults, fucking flash things. Oh, go, 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 no, we know a man again. Like, just fucking say whatever they can. <laughs> hey guys, anyone play with their dick a lot? Yeah! No, you, yeah, that, that's what we're doing, yeah! Anyone want to have kids? Anybody want to have kids? Yeah, yeah, no! I want to have kids, man! That's why I donate all my sperm! Because I want to have kids, but I just don't want to raise them! You know? And I think it'd be cool to just run into people that look like you a little bit once in a while, you know? I would love to run into a guy and be like, oh shit, it's like all athletic and shit. Look at that athletic Pablo over there. Look at him. Look at this sportsman. Right? Or like, oh, look at this uh, uh, mathematician Pablo. Cool, man. Look at this nerd. It's great. I'm like, oh shit, check out the tits on Pablina. She's looking good. Look, I jerk off a lot. I don't care. I just do it, all right? Uh, my, my, my bedroom looks like an Elmer's glue factory when uh, uh, my balls look like two wet socks. Like, whenever I come, it's like trying to get the last bit of toothpaste out of the... 
Look, my dick doesn't even come anymore. It just coughs. Just. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You guys okay? No! No! You're hurting us! I'm not okay! You're not okay? Like on an emotional level? Yes! Then why are you here? Guys, it's funny, man! It's... Alright. Alright. Just good fun. Good fun. Good laugh. <laughs> good laugh. Okay. There is... No, no, no. You don't, you don't need to tell us. Uh, we, we know. Okay, okay. Okay, I was sleeping. I have a bit. I was sleeping and I couldn't sleep because like a book fell in my room at like four in the morning and it woke me up. And I was, I was like, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. And I immediately assumed the worst. I was like, oh my God, a serial killer just broke in. It's gonna kill me. It's gonna rape my body. And then I fell back to sleep. Do you ever have that drop in alertness? It's like, it's like the same thing of when you're driving on the highway and you're texting and you almost die. And you're like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Oh. Yeah, yeah. No, I think everybody here That's funny! He went back to the... Fuck you! Hey, so, so I work for this delivery place, right? I work at a delivery and uh, the store, right? And uh, it's because I have a GED. And, uh... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You, you don't need a GED to work yeah, at this place. Not. You can be anybody. No, really. We had, like, uh, three infants in a trench coat working there one time. There was a cactus answering phones. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this about cactuses. Not big talkers. So, I work at this store. One thing about, that's great about this store, it's got a sign that says, we can't deliver to certain neighborhoods after dark. So it's always awkward when I get a phone call from that neighborhood, you know? I got a phone call once, I was like, oh, I'm sorry, sir. Can't deliver you after six. He was like, "Oh, why not, man?" I was like, uh, "I don't know." Because the uh, Mogwai turned into gremlins around that time. <laughs> Just kidding. People get murdered where you live. That's the real problem. He was like, "Oh," but he was persistent. He didn't care. He was like, "Oh, come on, man." I was like, "I'm sorry, sir. I can't do it." He was like, "Come on, man. Ain't nobody gonna hurt you out here." I was like, I can't do it, sir, my man. Hey! You deliver me my food, or I'll kill your ass! I was like, uh, that's, the, that's the murder I was talking about, sir. That's why I can't uh, go there. Even worse than that, though, one time, I had this little old lady call. She was like, uh, I told her, I'm sorry, man, I can't deliver to you. And she was like, oh, why not? And I was like, because uh, you live in a real bad part of town. She was like, I do. I was like, yeah, bitch, you do. <laughs> Alright, one more, one more, and then, uh, and then whatever. Do uh, you drink? Of course. Why the no, fuck do I get out? No, no. Yeah, that's, that's the sound of a sober man shouting no. Okay. I, uh, I don't drink because, how funny would it be if I just took a big gulp of this? Okay. I don't drink because I'm a Muslim, and Muslims believe that people, uh, they, when they drink alcohol, it makes them act crazy, so they don't do it. Um, oh, it <laughs> okay, uh, so that guy, who said that? Is it Tom Miller? Tom, I trusted you. Well, that was misplaced. Nice one. Okay, uh, that wasn't a nice one. Anyway, no, 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 we're getting to a place. Um, there are a lot of rules in Islam, uh, and you guys can tell I trust you as people because I'm pronouncing it right. No. Sometimes I do shows, no, no. I do shows in Mikanopi, and uh, I have to pronounce it Islam because the crowd will throw things if I, if I show my true colors. Uh, so, but there are more rules than, like Mormons have more rules than Muslims. It's hard task, but they have, they did it. They're not allowed to cuss. They can't even fucking cuss. Which I don't even... How do you get vengeance without cussing? That's what I want to know. How do you... Like, let's say you're a Mormon man practicing. And your wife was just murdered and killed. And just killed by some asshole, right? And you track the guy down. And, uh, you know, fugitive style. You beat him up. 
you pull a gun out and you're about to kill him. What are the last, what are the words, you, what do you say to this guy? <laughs> hey, uh, put a sock in it, you, you, you dumbo, you, you dumbo face. Hey, hey, eat toenails, you trash head. <laughs> He's like, your wife's cunt felt good around my dick before I killed her. You're like, oh, you, you're a, you slime ball. <laughs> Alright, bye, Mr. Ralph. This is Pablo. We're done? We're done! Alright. We ain't caught Tom. What? Pablo's not gonna get a piece. One more piece. No, I'm good. You're good? You don't want another piece? Pablo, have another piece. Pablo, have a piece! Have a piece! Have a piece. Have a piece. You guys want Pablo to have a piece? Have a piece! Why? No. Hey. I like your shoes. Wait, you said no? <laughs> <laughs> I like a little piece. Why not? Hold on. God damn it, after the Mormon one, that one's great. So, yeah, it was good, I wanted to leave. Um, I just wanted to drink my beer. Uh, yeah, look, I, oh, hey, 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 shut the fuck up for a second here. You're talking about my beliefs. I believe that when you die, nothing happens. Anybody else? Yeah. I'm not sad about that. That's that's uh, I'm not sad about that. That sounds pretty good to me. You know, there's some religions. They believe that there's, there's just hell. You know that? Like we usually think that the heaven and hell come in a combo package. These people, they think there's just hell. Doesn't matter what happens. No. It's not even a judgment call. Can you imagine if you believed in this? You have to tell your kids. Your kids are like. Uh, what happened to Grandma? And you're like, she's in hell. And they're like, why? And you're like, cause, I don't know, that's what happens. And they're like, but, but did she do? And no, she was a sweet old lady. She was very nice. We all loved her. She's burning in hell now. And they go, but why? It goes, that's how life goes. You, you die and you go to hell. It rains, you get wet, you die, and you burn for eternity after. All right? And then the kids would go, but, 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 but am I going to hell? And you go, yeah, you're going to hell. I'll be there too. Hopefully, I'll be there first. And they go, but I'll be real good. And you go, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Hitler's going to be there. Mother Teresa, everybody's going to be there. Doesn't matter. Everybody go to church, they throw shit at God, everybody be angry. The priests would be like, listen, uh, all I can tell you is live as long as you can. Don't die. It's terrible after this. You couldn't say anything nice to anybody. You'd be, uh, every time someone died that anybody knew, you'd be like, uh, she's in a worse place and it was terrible that she died. We don't, nobody wants to die because you go to hell and you burn. Thank you guys. There are two more acts to go, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to filter out the people who are unworthy to stay till the end of the show. I think they're doing that on their own. Good for them. For those who stayed along for the entire ride, good for you. It's not over yet. But I'm so proud of you. You really understand performance art, expressing your freedom of speech. That is what this church is all about. If you don't have the freedom to speak out, what do you got? Masturbation. Doesn't matter what that was. It's performance art. Who gives a shit? I'm gonna put that on YouTube, that quote. That was fucking genius. That's words to live by. It doesn't matter what that was. It's performance art. Who gives a shit? You can quote me on that. Tom Miller wrote that. Live on stage, the 30th anniversary, the Tabernacle of Hedonism. Ladies and gentlemen. 
It really works. I, I have no idea. I really do. I've been running around like an asshole screaming at people for 20 something years, and I could have just gone. It's the silencing message method for the classic. Yeah, it's some kind of cerebral thing we've been ingrained with through childhood. That people go up and go, shh, shh, shh. And look, look what happens. It's weird. It's freaking me out. It's a miracle. I've never seen this before. I know. Thank you. Another miracle. The question, the question is, if it was really a miracle, I could go shh to the air conditioner and would just turn off. That would be a miracle. I'm upset like that. Let's try it. Try it. No. Shh. We'll burn it. Keep trying. <laughs> oh, I really wanted that to happen. That would have been so cool. I would have felt, <laughs> yeah, epic fail. I would have felt so godlike that would happen. I would have been, a, I would have been in touch with my creator. Shh. It's not gonna happen. Wait, I forgot. Let me try my way and see if the air conditioner shuts up. Oh. Shut the fuck up! No, Shut the fuck up! Oh. Shut up, air conditioner! Go! Yeah. Go, do it. Go, air conditioner! It's a rebel. It's a rebel. Oh, it's a rebel air conditioner. I'm talking to air conditioners now. It's the show. Okay. I'm surrounded by the deer. This guy's good, isn't he? Ladies and gentlemen, we, yeah, give him a round of applause. In fact, he's so good. David Shelton is so good. Would you please be quiet? David Shelton is so good that I think we should introduce him as an act. Yeah. I think he should be our next performer. No, I think he should no. share his talents with you live on the stage. No, and I believe he was no. taking requests. Is that correct? No. You know what you're doing? Do you have your request? Okay. I, I get it. I know where that request is coming from. Ladies and gentlemen, my very, very good friend and comrade in performance art, theater, magic, music, you name it, he can do it. Please welcome, and sign language. Yes. Please welcome to the stage the incomparable, the unbelievable, what was your name? <laughs> Give it up for David, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh. I'm going to do a double backflip. Awesome! Are you ready? No! No one here is ready for this. See, I figure since it's them, they get to make the choice, and she made the choice for us. So let me yes, start sir. the music. That's scary. Shut it could be. It's magical. Shut Well, I'm doing this, uh, by the way. I did find on my phone I have a Ahmed the Dead, the Dead Terror soundboard. One thing I've all never seen is he says, I have an Irish wiener. It's magically delicious. <laughs> Come on, that was funny. Oh.
I never thought hyenas essentially. They're crude, and I'm silly to pay. I can speak my foot. Could it be the glimmer of potential if aligned to my vision and brain? Your powers of retention are as thick as a warthog's backside. But thick as you are, pay attention. My words are a matter of pride. It's clear from your vacant expression. The lights are not on upstairs. But we're talking kings and successions. Even you can't be caught unawares.
This is, now I just did the pronunciation. Ladies and gentlemen, to solve these riddles, please welcome to the stage for our final act tonight, Serenka. Give her a round of applause. Serenka, await the insights of the oracle. I seek clarity in the realms of the unknown. I call upon Morpheus, the Dagda, Gwydion, and Roger Ebert. I ask, what is power? The pumping of the blood of those who are blessed. The choice, the will to reign without regard for the soft souls beneath their hard marching feet. But just because you can beat him up doesn't give you the right to. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Power is the end of my will. Or is it the start of yours? How can I compete with your money, your genes, your privilege, your force? You punish me for my lack of sight, for the binding of my own hands. It's not power, though. That's justice. That's different than power. Power is when we have every justification to kill. And we don't. The capacity to harm, the preference for peace. Then you mustn't torture me with false love or self-serving mercy. Power is the divine sword combined with the sacred chalice. The surrender of force to the force of surrender. You take your Carnunian plight and you fray it to the fire of Belay, and I will tend Nothing to your wounds. Send all this. Nothing we do matters. All that matters is what we do. I fought for so long for redemption, for a reward. Finally, just to beat the other guy, but I never got it because there's no bigger meaning. And the smallest act of kindness is the greatest thing in the world. I will tend to your wounds, even those by my hand, with my love. Oh, gods, let me seize my power play. Live with grace and empower play of good and will, but not let me be a Hollywood cliché. Thank you.
give her a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. We <laughs> have with myself and the Reverend Angel Dust on this 30th anniversary show in 1982. We want to thank you for sticking it out with us. Have a great night. We'll see you next week. Good night. Performance artist for the goddess. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. He's, he said wiener. No, I don't. I don't. He didn't say wiener. So pray to the goddess, be faithful, and do that which is right. Thank you.